Hi guys, um, in this video, we are going to work with um, linear equations, solving equations, right? So typically, these are typical exam questions that they can ask you in intermediate phase, right? Um, if you are new to this channel, what are you waiting for? Let's do the right thing. Let's subscribe. Remember that you subscribe once, right? Let's get into today's video. We are given a linear equation. So what is a linear equation? A linear, a linear equation, it's a, it's a first degree equation, meaning that it has one solution. It's, uh, it's an equation where it, that, that has, it's, a, it's an equation that has one solution. So that means you must have one x value, not two. Once you have two, know that that's a quadratic. But in this video, we are focusing on a linear. So when you're solving such equation, first thing here, uh, collect like terms. Collect the what? The like terms. The like terms are those terms that are alike, such as four x, uh, such as four x and five x. They have something that is that, that that is that is common, which is x, right? So you have to collect the, those uh, uh, like terms. Take five to that side. We know that when we take five to that side, it becomes minus five x. Let's take um, let's take uh, five to that side as well here. It's going to be minus 5. We, we did take 5x. So the other side, it changes the sign. Remember that uh, since it's positive, the inverse of this will be uh, minus. Yes, the inverse operation will be minus here. So if it was minus, it will be plus. So in this case, when you take a positive number to the other side, it changes the sign. It becomes negative. Similarly, you take a positive sign to the other side, it becomes negative. So we have already collected the like terms. Um, right? So after collecting the, the, the like terms, you what do you do? We need to make x the subject now. Make x the subject. Make x the subject. So from here, what is for minus 5x? That's minus x or minus 1x. What is a negative 9 minus 5? Those are integers. So it should be minus 14. So it will be minus 14. So you can divide both sides from there. Since we have make x the subject, you, you then solve for x. So in this case, we are going to divide by negative. When you divide by negative 1, let's divide by negative 1. So this negative and negative, they cancel. x divided by 1, it's x. Negative and negative cancel. 14 divided by 1, it's 14. So meaning that our solution is 14. So if you can check from the left hand side, go back where there is x, place 14. When you say 14 times uh, 4 plus 5, you get from the left hand side, you get 61. Similarly, let's see 14, 5 times 14 minus 9, we get 61. So that's how we can be sure that uh, the, the linear equation is correct. Always ensure that the left hand side is equals to the right hand side. Very important when solving a linear equation, right? Let's go to the, our second question. Our second question requires a knowledge of um, a knowledge of simplifying the expression. In, in our part two video, we are going to, to to talk about algebraic expression where we are going to simplify. So, but now let's focus on this. To 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 simplify this, the five multiplies everything. We use what we call a dolphin method. You can see there's a dolphin here. Similarly, even here is a dolphin. We are using what? A dolphin method. This 5 will multiply everything that is inside the bracket. So in other words, we are going to say 5 times x, which will be 5x. 5 times negative 1, which will be minus 5. Right? So this negative multiplies everything that is inside the bracket. Remember, we are using a dolphin method. Negative 1 times negative times 1 is going to be ne minus 1. Negative and negative is going to be plus 2x. Guys, you, should, you, you also need to have knowledge of, uh, of signs. When you are multiplying a negative and a negative, your solution will be positive. But when you are multiplying a, a positive and a positive, your solution will be a positive. Right? When you are multiplying a, a negative and a positive, your solution will be a negative. So always mind your signs. Your operation signs are very important. Your signs are very important. Now, uh, second step here, we are going to collect the like terms. So we can see we have 5x. Take... 5x plus what? Plus 2x. Already the like terms are, are, in, are in order here. We have negative 5 minus 1. What is negative 5 minus 1? That's minus 6. 
so equated to 8. So 7 plus uh, 5 plus 2, that will be 7x. What you could do is to take this to the other side. Since it's negative, it becomes a uh, positive. Just as I've said in, the, in our first equation there. So it's going to be 8 plus uh, 6. What is 8 plus 6? 8 plus 6, uh, that's 14. So we could say 14. Then we have, remember, we have 7x. So we need, already we need to make x the subject by dividing uh, by 7, both sides. So, x is now a subject. How many times does 7 goes into 14? It goes twice. So, you can also do the same thing. Where there is x uh, substitute 2, where there is x substitute 2, it must give you 8. Then you, you ensure yourself that your left-hand side is equal to right-hand side. Right? Hope guys are learning. So, this is how you can work out uh, uh, such typical exam uh, linear equations. Be very careful. Ensure that you collect the like terms, make x the subject, and solve for x, right? So, we are given a linear fraction. To make life easier in this case, uh, we can, um, there are two ways we can do this. We can multiply by 4 both sides, which is a denominator. We can multiply by a denominator of 4 both sides. So, in which this and this, since are common, they will cancel. We are left with x plus 1. Then we are going to say 6 times 4. What is 6 times 4? That's 24. So we have 24. So we need to make x the subject. Uh, you can make x the subject by transposing 1. Since 1 is positive, remember I told you uh, when you have a positive number and you transpose it to the other side, it changes the, si the sign. Since it's positive, it's going to be minus. If it was minus, it's going to be positive. So in this case, we are going to have 24 minus 1 which is equals to x is equals to 23. Then you can also do the same thing by checking. If we can check from here. Or another method that we could use was to say uh, x plus 1 divided by 4 is 1 divided by 4 equated to 6. So 6 is divisible by 1. So from here, uh, we can uh, cross multiply. 1 times x is the same as x. Uh, 1 times 1 is the same as 1. And 4 times 6 is the same as 24. So we can make x the subject by taking 24, by taking 1 to the other side, it becomes 24 minus 1. Equated to 24 minus 1, that's 23. So you can check, guys. You can go back and check here. If you check, you're going to have 23 uh, plus 1 divided by 4. So what is 23 uh, plus 1? It's 24. So how many times does uh, 4 goes into 24? We know it goes four times. So in this case, that makes uh, that means our solution is correct. Always check your solution, guys. For you to do well in this module, check your solutions. Check and check. I hope, guys, you are learning. MIP 1502, this video is for you. Uh, I wish you well. Keep going. Let's go to the second video. Uh, simplifying the expression. Keep subscribing and share the video. We love you.